215 pounds taking on 212 pounds. A lot, of, a lot of noise here for these guys. And there you see Luke Gambali, and he's the, the fighter I mentioned at the Open. Had cancer himself. Yeah, so there's actually, a, if you check out uh, Haymakers for Up's podcast, there's a podcast with Luke um, where he tells a story in great detail. Uh, really now, awesome story, though. Former college football player, um, has cancer, now, beats it. Uh, he actually ran the Philadelphia Marathon in, uh, this past November. Incredible. Gambali. Luke Gambali, so not only is he raising money, and he's raised over $18,000, which is absolutely incredible, but he's also a cancer survivor himself. Big boys, though. And he's fighting at heavyweight, 215 pounds. 6'2", big guy, broad-shouldered. Regional account manager by day. By night, he's fighting here at Haymakers for Hope. Gambali! But as you'll see, he's entering the ring with an equally as big, big guy in Henry Hilla. And while I'm sure Henry is, in, uh, Henry knows his story and is inspired by it, I'm sure he doesn't really care this right now. And now, the from crowd. the sounds of it, he has a huge crowd behind us. Henry Hill has got the crowd here. 29-year-old software engineer. Big energy fight right now. Crowd is going nuts. This was the fight I had scored. I had circled on my scorecard. You see Henry Hill. Uh, and now fighting out of the Cougar, weighing in at 212 pounds, fighting out of Fight Club, Philadelphia, and trained by Michael Sullivan, Henry the Hammer Hilla! Henry Hilla making his way to the ring, 29-year-old software engineer. Uh-oh. He has a flag going. This is the loudest it's been here tonight. Crowd's going so nuts. So far, and right behind us, the Henry Hilla contingent making themselves known. Hilla raised over $7,500. Incredible achievement. This has the makings of a uh, all right, looks like Gambali has a crowd over there. Hilla has a crowd behind us. I think we're going to... This is going to be a big one. I think so. You see the tail of the tape there. Both men very much in their prime, 29 and 32 years old, about the same height, about the same weight as, as well. Heavy weight, only three pounds difference. Account manager versus software engineer. So we'll have to see, wait and see. It's a little bit different than their day job, what they're doing now. Yeah, and given the, uh, the, the crowd, the, the, the noise, I'm, I'm guessing they're gonna come out, come out swinging. He did. Yes, Gambale had a great mustache, which he has shaved for the fight. Oh, okay. Extra motivation on his part. He wants to be slick. Slick moving, slick mustache. There you go. Both men right. touch it up. Our heavyweight contest, fight five of the evening, is about to be underway live from the Fillmore. This is Haymakers for Hope, the Liberty Bell Brawl 2. Gambale in the red, Hilla in the blue. Hilla with some looping punches. And right away, you see Gambale utilizing lateral movement, cutting off the ring. Spin there by Hilla. <laughs> Hilla coming in a little strong, but a little bit off balance there as well. Yeah, he has a quirky style. Fast, twitchy style. Loopy punches. And there's one, that big overhand right for Hilla. Got the attention yeah, of the Landing ball. a nice stiff jab there, but he's going right to the body. 
A lot of spinning in this one. <laughs> round and round. <laughs> This crowd is just waiting to erupt for one big moment from either man. We, uh, we weren't sure when we saw him, because it's Henry with an I, so we weren't sure if he went with the, uh, the French pronunciation of the name. But from the crowd, it looks like he is Henry Hilla. Henry the Hammer Hilla. It's a, it's a feeling out-ish first round, getting distance. Yep. Here comes Kimbali. Oh, big left big hand left for Kimbali. But Hilla came back with a few. Hilla really likes to throw some looping punches. Head yeah, down. Hilla puts his head right down and just throws the punch. And then, the, you know, those can be tricky as well, actually. Yeah, you never know. Hilla is definitely an unor unorthodox style. Gambali, the more traditional boxing stance, working behind the jab, setting up the right hand. What you're typically taught when you go to a boxing gym. Ooh. But when you're unorthodox, you land things like that. The jab got through for Hilla at the end of that round one. Tough one to score. How do you Tough have one it? to score. I, I gave that round to Hilla. Okay. And I, even though he was awkward, I think he landed and a few punches in that awkward way. That jab at the end sealed it for me. I think Gambali had more in the tank, and I think he's maybe going to use that later. It seemed like he was holding back a bit. Okay. Let's go. Our ring card warrior, Ramir Baconel. Seven years in remission. Doing a great job here tonight, as are these fighters. We mentioned Luke Gambale. I mean, an incredible story. Su survived cancer himself. Received the news in August of 2021 that he had been diagnosed with stage 3B cancer. Okay, round now two. Now he's here. Round two underway. Ooh, Gambo, or uh, Hilla going right to the body. Gimbali in the red trunks. Hilla in the blue. Here comes Gimbale. Oh, Hilla's not scared. Hilla answers right back. I thought he might have got one in the back of the head there, but it doesn't look like they, they called that. And they're going to warn Gambali for pushing. Ooh. Big right hand for Hilla. Gambali answering back here. Hilla's putting together some interesting combinations. They seem to be landing. A oh, little uh, buckle there by Gambale. I wonder if the uh, the punches are starting to be felt. It's an awkward style Hilla has, and it's tough to prepare for. You don't know necessarily where these punches are coming from. Seems like Gambale just wants to push him off. It's like get you know get off me a little bit here. Here comes Gambale. Combinations. A little headlock. And even that, almost like a hammer fist punch from Hilla. But then he came back with a nice one, too. Gilger is still the first one to pick someone up for tonight. Only one. <laughs> first, but probably not the last with the Maybe intensity not. we're seeing. Oh, here, here. we go. Here Gimbali comes Gimbali. Ending, the ending the round strong. But Hilla landed another one there. All right, that's the oh. end of round two. I don't know. I think I, I think I got hell on that one again. I'm going to give that one to Gambale. It was very close, though. I think okay. Gambale did more. I think uh, Hilla moved more, but in terms of punches landed, it seemed like Gambale maybe landed a few harder shots. I could see it go either way. It's hard to tell with with, uh, with Hilla, though. You never, you really don't know where yeah. if some, some of these punches if they're landing or not. But on my unofficial scorecard, it's tied up 1-1, one -one, so it all, all comes right. down to round three. Something tells me we could see a... Uh, a cement, a cement foot uh, center of the ring, kind of last round. 
And I think the crowd here would love that. I mean, this crowd is, is animated, is very supportive of their fighters. All right, let's see if their trainers uh, can motivate them for this last round. Third and final round. The venue is erupting right now. The crowd is getting loud. And first time by the referee. Not really sure what the waistline is. Looks like a mouthpiece ah, possibly okay. was missing. Or no, okay. A little blood. Maybe some blood or Vaseline on the mouth. All right. I think those, that, that 20 seconds really felt nice for those two guys. Oh, yeah. Extra rest, especially at heavyweight, can be nice. Gambale in the red, Hilla in the blue. Gambale, the more traditional boxer. Bailing each other out. Hilla using those awkward angles to land things like that. Woo! Here it is. Last round, last minute. Hill has a huge crowd behind him. You can hear the, the fans chanting Henry. Henry the Hammer Hilla. Both men, fatigue starting to set in as well. I still think Gambali really needs to kind of open up more. It seems I'm really like there's surprised. more there. I just, yeah, it doesn't seem like he has that next gear. Or for some reason he's holding back. And I don't know if that, maybe that's Hilla's awkwardness is, is making him hesitant. Because the punches haven't seemed to affect him too much. So I'm just surprised that... Right. There, there's not more of a sense of urgency. Gambale's getting hit, but it, it doesn't look like he's necessarily getting hurt. He is getting hit, but... But to your point, the awkwardness sometimes ruins your flow as a boxer. And it if you're really a, a timing boxer... Oh, nice, strong punch there by Gambale, but... He doesn't seem to be able to handle the awkwardness of... Of Hilla here. Hilla with blood streaming down his face. Looping right hands landing like that one. Henry, the, Hill, the hammer Hilla supporters calling for the body shot. He does not. There is no, no, nothing. No loss of fight in Hilla. And that looks like that'll Woo! be the end of round three. Okay, folks, I'm gonna sign off for a couple, for a couple of fights. I'll be back. I'm just gonna go check on the operations of the night. Um, but I'll be back in a couple in a fight or two. Sounds good. All right. Thank you so much, Andrew. So we'll see how this fight plays out. I and my scorecard, Hilla took the third and final round there. And so I expect All right, Billy, this the here. decision. We're gonna see what Arthur Berwick. Our ring announcer has to say here. And Blue Corner took this one, make some noise. Uh oh. Well, giving us a quick decision. While we wait for the main decision, we'd like to thank our official beverage partners Corazon Tequila, Rigers Kansas City Whiskey, Rigers Midwestern Dry Gin. 10 to 1 rum, Wheatley Vodka, Wash Line LLC, Sea Owl Spike Ice Tea, and Two Moves. And our official craft beer partner, Other Half Brewing, who have decided to stay open late after the event tonight. So if you don't want to go to work tomorrow, meet us over there. That's where the after party is at, and it's going to be a great time. Other Half Brewing. We have some official announcements in the ring as the judges tally up the scorecard. It was a spirited affair. Y'all go okay. ahead and make some noise for both our fighters one time. Make some We're going to hear the official decision. We'll throw it back up to Arthur Berwick, 
the fourth. And the winner, fighting out of the red corner, Luke Gambali. Luke Gambali is the winner of this fight. We talked about Hilla's awkwardness. Luke Gambali was able to overcome that. And we talked about Luke Gambali's story. I mean, he was told at one point that his diagnosis was uncurable and inoperable. <laughs>